How's it going guys, Chris here with another one of those Battlefield 5 gun guides for you today, and in this one we're going to be focusing on the MG34, a German machine gun for the support class that's unlocked right from the very start. Designed in the early 1930s, the MG34 was a pretty revolutionary weapon, being the first of its kind, a general purpose machine gun suitable for a variety of roles, arguably the most advanced one around too at the time of its deployment. Whether it was used by infantry to provide sustained fire from stationary positions using a bipod, or being mounted onto tanks and vehicles, the MG34 was really popular in the German army, especially during the first half of the war, being the main support weapon of the Wehrmacht. Being available to use with belts or drum magazines, this gave the gun both offensive and defensive applications, with the belts designed to allow the gun to keep the bullets whizzing by for longer periods of time, suppressing targets and preventing them from advancing, and the drums instead, making the gun a bit more portable and easy to wield for soldiers carrying the gun around. It was this versatility that made it so successful and widespread, being manufactured at a very high standard too, though this did make the MG34 quite expensive and slow to produce, two factors that really went against the gun being a suitable thing to be mass producing in the middle of a full blown world war, when demand for such weapons was sky high. And it was this, along with the fact that it was very sensitive to mud and dirt, that in the end forced the Germans to push their design forward, leading to the creation of the infamous MG42. Anyway, in Battlefield 5, the MG34 has got the standard MMG damage model, dealing a maximum damage of 25 up to the range of 10 meters, which then gradually slopes down over distance, stopping at 75 meters, where it will then deal the minimum damage of 15 from this point onwards. Translating over to a 4 shot kill up close, though potentially a 7 shot kill beyond the distance of 50 meters, providing your target's got a full bar of health. Because the MG34 has got a fairly steady fire rate of just 670 RPM though, this doesn't exactly give it very impressive kill times, especially when you compare it to a lot of the other medium machine guns you've got on offer. It's not a bad fire rate by any means, still beating a lot of the other fully automatic weapons in the game, including most of the LMGs, matching up to the FG42 though it is the second slowest firing MMG by default, generally making it a less aggressive weapon compared to the others, perhaps meaning that it might struggle to put down multiple players quickly, putting a bit more pressure on you to get those bullets to land on target in a gunfight. Of course, the fire rate can be granted an extra 100 RPM with the light bolt spec, allowing the gun to match the base models of the S2200 and the M1922, but now firing at the faster rate of 770 RPM though this still isn't really anything too special when looking at the MMGs overall, with lethality and general kill times not really being one of the MG34's more notable factors. Though something that the MG34 does do a little bit better, you stay on target while you open fire, being a much more precise and controllable weapon to use compared to a lot of its faster firing alternatives, which in the end can actually help to make up for that lack of initial stopping power. As far as the recoil goes, it kind of acts like a much steadier, stable version of the S2200, with the same horizontal values of 0.2, both relatively low, and a vertical kick reading of 1.375. These aren't the lowest figures in the class however, all beaten by the M1919A6, being even more accurate, yet slower firing still, though this still gives the MG34 a pretty nice balance between its fire rate and recoil nevertheless, actually helping to decrease kill times due to more shots landing rather than missing. And because the gun does shoot at a fairly steady pace, this can often help to supplement the gun's accuracy, due to the recoil building up at a slower pace than normal, rather than spraying shots out all over the place. This generally gives the MG34 more worth for longer ranged engagements, often making it better than a lot of the other MMGs over those mid to long distances, especially if you run with a recoil buffer and ported barrel specs, dampening the recoil pattern even more, thus making it even more effective and easier to control when sustaining fire. With several different choices to pick, from various belt options to double drum magazines, there's quite a few things to keep in mind when deciding how you're going to configure the MG34. In its base form, the gun's only got a 50 round belt to begin with, which isn't a very impressive amount, but will soon change as you start unlocking those specialisations. No matter what path you choose though, the MG34 is going to have access to more ammo in the end though, with its belt size able to be doubled up to 100 rounds, or replaced entirely by 75 round drum mags both options giving you more ammo to play around with, helping you sustain fire for longer durations. Obviously, the larger belt gives you 25 more shots than the magazines, making it the slightly better suppressive option, 
allowing you to take down an extra target or so. And if you've chosen to increase the fire rate, then this might help to prevent you running out of ammo quite as quickly as you would with the drums. The drums, however, do provide you with the minor benefit of having slightly quicker empty reloads, which now take 5.5 seconds instead of 5.8. Not exactly a great benefit overall though, with it still taking quite a bit of time to swap over. But it doesn't really matter how you choose to use the weapon, reloads are never really going to be particularly fast anyway, with it always taking 4 seconds when you've still got bullets left over. Looking at the specialisations next, the MG34 has got access to both recoil buffer at the top left and high velocity bullets top right, reducing vertical recoil or increasing bullet speed respectively. Upwards kick is already relatively low and easy to manage, though I'd like to drop it down even further with the recoil buffer, with high velocity bullets not really giving you too much of a benefit in most fights over the gun's optimal medium range. In the middle of the spec tree, you're going to find flashless propellant and extended belt on the left side, doubling your ammo capacity while reducing the muzzle flash, and on the right, chrome lining and double drum mags, letting you fire for longer without overheating, along with upping your ammo count up to 75 rounds, and giving you those marginally faster empty reloads. I'd opt for the left side personally, as the larger belt gives you an extra 25 round advantage over the drums, which seems like a much better trade off than the slightly quicker empty reloads the drums give you, which you probably won't even notice. And so long as you fire in bursts and don't keep the trigger held down for too long, overheating barely ever really becomes an issue anyway, with the flashless propellant helping to conceal your position better, seeming like the more useful choice overall. And last of all, we've got the light bolt spec on the left, boosting fire rate and making the gun more aggressive, though on the right, the ported barrel, lowering horizontal recoil, thus playing into the gun strengths by making it more precise. Either of these two are good options, but really depends on your playstyle. I generally prefer to choose the ported barrel to give the gun an edge against players further away, though light bolt definitely isn't a bad way to run either, especially if you're defending against advancing players, gunning them down within shorter sightlines with that 100 round belt. So in conclusion, the MG34 might seem like a bit of a boring MMG on paper, having a subpar fire rate which might lead you to think that it's got some lazy kill times, and in close range situations, this might be the case, especially if you compare it to some of the other bullet spewing medium machine guns available in the support class. Though it makes up for this lack of speed with its solid accuracy and stability, having one of the best recoil patterns in the class, which can often actually help to decrease those kill times beyond closer ranges, due to more bullets connecting with other players instead of straying off targets, like they would do with some of the other rapid shooting MMGs. The MG34 can be moulded to fit several different playstyles quite well with its different ammo choices and specialisations, being quite flexible and well optimised for both defensive and offensive tactics, depending on what choices you've gone for, be it the faster firing light bolt option to make the gun a bit angrier and deadlier within those early mid ranges, or the ported barrel to boost accuracy even more and help the gun excel over those further distances instead. And this sort of plays into the real life nature of the weapon, being a versatile thing compatible for different roles on the battlefield, as it might not be quite as ferocious as some of the others, like the MG42 for example, but it's generally more well rounded, which can often allow the MG34 to adapt to different situations better, having a pretty nice balance of attributes overall. So that's it for another one guys, hope you enjoyed the video, do be sure to give me a like if you did, and subscribe right now to see loads more guides on Battlefield and other games just like this one. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you in our next video.